Happy October and a happy Halloween, YouTube, and welcome to this very special Norman Reviews Games Halloween Special Spectacular. Today, we're bringing you a quick tips video with a very special guest, Scott the Bad Boy Kellerman, and we're going to be taking you through Left 4 Dead 2, showing you some special tips and hints to help you survive. Scott, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Excellent. Uh, it's a game where you fight the zombies. Yes, well, technically they're sick people. So we're executing ill people, Scott. It's a wholesome American activity. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, I would just like to point out over here that for some reason in this game, this refrigerator door is... You can open and close it. You can't just close any other refrigerator in the entire game. And it's not relevant to anything, but I just wanted to point it out. Actually, would you believe it or not, that is relevant, Scott, as there was an Easter egg discovered. If you open and close this fridge door 500 times, a special RPG launcher will spawn in-game. Now, we don't have time to do it right now, but I promise you all out there watching, if you open and close this fridge door 500 times, you will get an RPG launcher they coded into the game. Why is there a frying pan? Like, you can't, you can pick them up to fight with them, but you can't pick this one up. That's not right. Hmm. Ah, uh, this must be uh, one of those frying pans made from a neutron star. So, you know, it, it weighs the size of several planets. I have been playing this game for literally, I think, like, nine years, and this is the first time I realized you could also open up the freezer. Uh-oh, you've got yourself in a pickle. I got you, buddy. Zombies in the bathtub. Yeah, that's my favorite song from Sesame Street. Uh-oh. I've been bukkake on. We'll return right after these messages. Scott is Googling oh, boot. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I pulled a fast one on you there, buddy. <laughs> Only weeaboos use the katana, Scott. How many people know this, but I've got actually like a black belt in... Ninjutsu, and that's why I have the katana. Pro tip, the most effective weapon against the witch is a pipe bomb. That, uh, See, here she is, right here. Now watch this, Scott. Duck and cover! That's not going to be a great thing to do. And there she goes. Uh-oh, uh she didn't go down. Scott, why didn't that work? That's not how you crown a witch. Oh. The right way to crown a witch is to, what you have to do is uh, take a shotgun, get really close, shoot her, and then she knocks you down and everybody on, the, on your team gets mad and kicks you from the server. That's how you crown a witch. And there's pro tip number two brought to you by Scott Kellerman, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Norm. Uh, I got, I got a secret for you. Jump on that fire right there. You can get a, a, a secret. Oh, okay. How long do I have to wait here? Uh, until you realize that it's bad to stay in fire. Uh, Scott, nothing happened except I got third degree burns all over my body. Uh, that's, that's just it. You get the knowledge. That's the secret. You unlocked it. Great job, buddy. Oh, well, okay. There is your next pro tip. Stand in the fire to learn that fire is hot. So, next pro tip brought to you here, if you do not have a microphone on your team, but you need to let your teammates know your position, a good way to signal this is by setting off car alarms. There we go. See, now Scott knows exactly where I am. And I didn't even have to tell him over the mic. We're not dead yet, are we? So I must be doing something right. Pro tip, ladies and gentlemen, when your life is spiraling into depression, swallow random pills you find on the floor. This advice brought to you by Scott. He is fully, he takes full responsibility for any actions committed from advice given in this video.
I just want to point out that uh, I do not take responsibility for that last tip. Would you care to explain this spray, Scott? That's an interesting spray. Uh, no. It's okay, I'm not going to judge you. No. This is a pretty accurate description of what some ways are like. <laughs> I see you too have lived in Chicago, Scott. Thinking about five dollar foot logs and eating yoga mats. Time to take the night train to Mundafine. Let's go. That's a, a real classic there, buddy. Exactly. That's why I used it. I love the Twilight Zone. Oh, I found a Mazel Tov cocktail. You will be saying dos vidanya to the Zombars. I don't know how to speak foreign words. I know, it's Puerto Rican, so it's kind of a hard language. I'm American and I don't I don't have to learn new things. Oh, Norman is full gangsta now. He's got the AK. Oops, sorry, Zoe. Don't apologize to them. They need to hurt to learn. We're going to call the lift now and kick some behind. Here they come. Oh Get ready, Scott. Mazel tov. I feel a little weak. I need pills, just like real life. Here we go. And say goodbye to your kneecaps, chucklehead. Bonk. That's the wrong game. That, that's the uh, uh, Team Fortress classic you're thinking of. Next pro tip, the best crowd control weapon in this game, by far, are sniper rifles. So use them to your advantage. Uh-oh, here she comes. I'm going to baseball bat her. Watch this. Okay, I failed to baseball bat the witch. But I did get her. See, now I know where Scott is because he activated the car alarm. Uh-oh. Yeah, Francis has got me, so I'm up and going now. I'm weak, but I'm going. I have my trusty sniper rifle and baseball bat in hand. Let's go. I'm almost there. I'm walking very slow. Now we just wait for the AI. They're the most advanced artificial intelligence on the market. True that, Scott. True that. Which also, by the way, brings us to our next quick tip. If all else fails and you are struggling and confused, watch what the AI does and just imitate them. Also, I just want to take a moment to express through my character how I feel about the emotional effect of the movie The Brave Little Toaster. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was about everyone's reaction to that film, Scott. I know when I saw that evil air conditioner, I wanted to pop a cap. Yeah, it's like Toy Story except good. Uh-oh, does somebody have a needless grudge against good CGI, Scott? Don't talk to me about Toy Story. Bad memories, perhaps? Yeah, I'm watching it. And I've got my trusty hatchet now, so to quote Jack Nicholson, here's Jimmy. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, that movie, uh, the, uh, the uh, Glimmering. Yes, yes, Ralph Bakshi's The Glimmering, indeed. Excellent movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, Ralph Bakshi, the kid from The Karate Kid. It, yeah, yeah. He also played on the Wonder Years, didn't he? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, he was the Prince and the Bride, too. Oh, yeah. He was the one that was always saying, incontrovertible. Yeah, the Bride. You know, you know personally, I like the sequel, uh, The Princess Bride of Frankenstein. I think that was probably the better picture, but that's just me. I would agree. I like the Spanish version myself the best. Oh, yeah, the one that uh, the Prince Savage is replaced by that uh, the, the Spanish guy. Yeah. 
All right, got another Mazel Tov. I've got another Babam. They call this weapon the Spaz because to use it effectively, pretty much just shoot around randomly like a Spaz. She startled it, but I finished it. Nice. Put on Scott wears his sunglasses at night. Weapons over here. Hmm. Uh, actually, I wear them when I use the computer because they filter out the blue light that disrupts my circadian rhythm. Communicate with cicadas. You know, this part of the level always makes me feel really at home for some reason. Sometimes I just kind of live in the sewer. Now to just wait for the bots. Get in here. Come on. Here we go. Robot roll call. Get in here. Nice. Uh, uh, that one's Zoe, and that one's Fran Servo. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, oh, no. Look, there's a witch. Oh, no. I'm all right. I gotcha. Hey, there's a canister over here. All right. Perfect. So, quick tip. Take a canister and use it for excellent crowd control, but be sure to place it close to your choke point so you have an easy time hitting it. And explode the canister. Mazel tov. We do things the pro way. Norm, you ever notice that, like, uh, when you get to the hospital... The building looks solid, but then when you get to the 28th floor, there's all this, like, open space, or, like, no walls on the edges. Scott, repeat to yourself, it's just a game. I should really just relax. Don't ever tell me to just relax, Norman. You need to understand things in my world. Well, this is it. Big finale. All right. Are you ready? No, no, no. Like, what is this specific space? This big thing we're standing over. This, this big gaping chasm. What's this called? Oh, this is an elevator shaft. Shut your mouth. You know, I think shaft is probably my favorite role played by uh, Willem Dafoe. One zombie, two zombie. Red zombie, blue zombie. Scott, I want to get over to that building you're on. How do I build a bridge? What's the button to switch to crafting? Uh, Don't smoke cigarettes, kids. Uh, Scott, now I really do need to know how to get up there. was named for American pioneer Meriwether Lewis. Why? Why, I, Norman? I turned the heat on. It was getting cold up here. Like literally 90% of uh, everybody in this game. Scott, I just went skydiving. Arriva Derchi. Oh, I got boomed. That's great. How was your first time getting boomed, Scott? Was it memorable? Uh, no. Uh, no, it was not. I'm sorry. Come on, Scott. I have faith in you. Somebody in your life has to. Get to the chopper, as Dolph Lundgren would say. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Scott has successfully escaped. And yours truly, of course, Norman here, sacrificed himself for the greater good for his team escaping. Play. Indeed. And there you have it, in I memoriam. Like what? I have had dreams like that. You're an interesting gentleman, Scott. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, I'm the only one who has a death. All you posers can't even get on my level. And I was incapacitated the most times, so boom.